All right, well, as you can see, <coughs> today's a rainy day. So, um, I told you I had a, a, a wood chipper. This is what I've got. It's a Craftsman, it's a small one. I got almost for nothing. Motor does spin over. It's been sitting out in my field area. I had it covered up. And I already bought a carburetor kit for it. Uh, it's somewhere. I have it out here. Or maybe it's still back in the other room. I have one. And um, this carburetor is really bad off. Uh, it doesn't run. Um, I was able to put starting fluid, spray it on the intake, and pull it and fire it up and went. So we know that the motor does run. Gas tank is not rusted out, which is a big positive. Just got bad gas, but the carburetor is probably clogged up somehow or another. I'm not sure. So I'm going to have to take the carburetor off, completely clean it. Uh, there is a screen. There's a long plastic tube that goes all the way down to the bottom of this. I'll have to show you too when I get it apart. But I've never all right, guys. Um, yesterday it was pouring rain out. <clears throat> and that got real dark. I have no light in the garage other than this flashlight. And that really doesn't work too good. I mean, I can shine it on certain parts. So yesterday, I did take this carburetor off and apart. And this was all gummed up. That's your governor. Completely. It almost didn't even move. Same as this one. This was kind of hard to move. It's now freed up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it back apart. It's already been cleaned up. It's really ready to go back on the truck. Today's a beautiful sunny day. So it's not much to pull this back off again. And I'll show you what I did. And we'll go through it real quick. I'm not going to spray it down. I've already freed everything up. Everything is nice and clean. Everything looks perfect. So that's what we're going to do. I had already gotten this screw loose. I've already put all new gaskets in there. There's there. We have uh, three screws. One here. One there, one there. So it's three. We're going to take these three out. And here we go. All right. Let me get this screw back off here. Okay. Every screw I have, I take apart and I put it. I have a, uh, I don't know if you guys ever noticed something like this before. Look at this. Let me show you something I've done. All right. So I used to use these things right here as my parts bend. Put all my nuts and bolts, gaskets. Sometimes when you take something apart, if you, do, you don't want to lose a gasket, like here is the old, this is like the old fuel diaphragm they had. You don't want to lose that, you, you know, because if you put it on your table, wind may blow it away. I threw everything in these and it keeps things gathered up. And that's what I used to do. And I still do it. So, back to the carburetor. I was talking a minute ago, let me take this gasket off right here. This is a brand new gasket I just put on. All right, I was talking earlier, I told you there's a long plastic tube that goes inside the tank, has a screen on the bottom. Here's a screen. This screen wasn't plugged up, wasn't dirty. Well, I shouldn't say that. It had varnish on it. So what I end up doing is I took this side cover off, and uh, I'm not going to, yeah, I will take the side cover off. Let me find that screw. All right, let me show you what's inside this. Right inside here, there's four screws. Take them off and out of the way kind of siphons gas off like uh, like if it's under vacuum it pulls it in whatever it needs okay let's see here all right we pull this off and there's our diaphragm I told you about I don't want to tear it so we'll pull it out real easy I will put that back in here and this this piece right here and this area was really uh, like crusted over quite a bit. And then in here is a spring. And this basically, I believe, it works how it uh, the the engine produces vacuum, and I believe this spring pumps, and that's what pumps the fuel into your engine, you know, into your the basic engine. So. There's not much more to take apart on these carburetors. There's not much more at all. Um, there is a set screw right here. Um, that's how you adjust your carburetor. Anybody, if you ever take your carburetors apart, before you want to clean this jet out, that jet goes into here. 
So what you want to do is you want to mark where I always mark them, how this is, I pick my angle, it's set in sideways right here, and then I'll scribe, I scribe my loom. Now I'll get my light and see if you can't see that scribe mark right there, right beside the screw. Now it's scribed. Now what I do is I count the amount of turns in it goes. You're not forcing the turn, you're just going to count the turns. So basically we're going to go keep going and right now it stopped. A half a turn. So I always remember or write it down a half a turn. So now all you got to do is take your screw all the way out. You don't have to worry about it. So when you put it back in you're basically going to bottom out that screw and then you'll tighten it up and then loosen it up a half a turn. Okay. There you go. So, and this was dirty too, right here. So I cleaned this all up with a good rag, cleaned it all up. I did get a new one with my parts kit, but it's not the right one. If you kind of look, I'm gonna kind of stand them up side by side. You can see one's a lot longer than the other. So I cannot use the new one. So I cleaned up the, the old one, cleaned it all up, looked real good. And what I end up doing, I don't want to lose there's a little spring there. What I end up doing is taking carburetor spray and I sprayed in this little hole that's right here. Usually this can come out and you can clean it. This one's not. It's a press fit. So I sprayed carburetor cleaner in there. It came out this hole here. Uh, no, this hole here. No, wrong. Oh, it came out inside here to bottom. My bad. All right. I sprayed carburetor cleaner in here. And this reset area and also came out here and down inside so that all looks good um, everywhere it had an opening there's an opening let me get a light okay there's an opening down there in that side way down there in this area I sprayed in there I sprayed um, carburetor cleaner inside here so it flowed backwards back through and it washed all out now you want to use carburetor cleaner any kind of carbon cleaner works, okay? Because it eats up your gum, the uh, varnish that's in your engine. But carbon cleaner, you need to use for carburetors because it eats up the varnish. So I sprayed this whole thing down really good. Inside, I could see everything was functioning perfectly. You can look inside there. It looks almost like brand new inside. Everything looks clean. Everything's moving around good. There's inside the carburetor there, the throat. That all looks really good. So now what I'm going to do is put this back together again and we'll go from there. Yep. All right. Let's go ahead. Now we're going to go in reverse. Like I said, this has already been cleaned up. I'm not spraying nothing no more. I took it back apart so you all can see it. Got to make, make sure you put your spring back in the way you found it. And I tell you what, guys, if you're unsure of something, always take pictures with your cameras or video so you know how things go back together. All right, here we go. Okay, we're gonna put this back on. All right. And this here has a little, little hole in it and that's supposed to line up with that. It only goes on one way, but so you know. Here that is, now we got those little screws that's in my little bucket. And these screws are not made to be wrenched down tightly. Um, you, it's, it's, it's a firm, you bring them down to the bottom when they bottom them out. And I don't do that yet. I don't ever tighten any screw down on anything until all the screws are in. So that way, if this thing needs to move around, it moves around to get where you need to go. Okay, every one of these are just barely tight. Barely. I mean, I'll go through and make sure they're barely on there right now. They're, I just feel them touch, and that's it. Now, after I'm done with that, let me check this one more. Looks good. And I always make sure the gasket looks like it's all the way on. That looks good. So now, what I'll, all I usually do is maybe go a half a turn or a quarter of a turn, and that's it. You really can't get much more out of it. That's maybe even an eighth of a turn. That's it. I mean, it's tight, and you don't have to have, go real tight on that. It's a thin gasket, so that all looks good. So now, let's go ahead and put that back in there again. Like I said, these are all cleaned up already. Everything looks good. And what we need to do here is 
We need to turn this all the way in. Remember before, I said turn it all the way in as far as you can go until it bottoms out. Now you're not going to pull hard on the bottoming out. You're not going to wrench it. You're just bringing it down. You're, you're being gentle. Pretend this is China. Okay, this is what this is. You don't need to be marking up that, that pit, that end. So we're bottomed out right there. And if you kind of, can kind of look, I mean, I'm bottomed out. And that lines up with that slash mark I put on that side with that piece. So now what we need to do is all I said, like I said before, it was a half a turn. I'm bought it out, and you can see that mark right there, so it's lining up. All I'm going to do is back this off a half a turn. That's my starting point for starting a car, or starting this engine. Uh, you knew it ran at this point, so we're putting it back at that spot where it ran. So the next thing is we got everything else on. Everything is functioning, moving. This is no longer stiff. That was a real problem. And all, well, this was also. It moved, but it just didn't return well. It was stuck in there. It was all varnished up. We're going to go ahead and get this gasket. Put that back on. Everything goes in there, lines up perfectly. Normally, these gaskets are very tight. The screws. And what I like to do is if I'm going to start a screw, I always like to pre-start on the gasket. So the screw is going into the gasket. So, And I'll show you why here in a second, why I'd like to do that. Okay, as you can tell, you can see the bottom of the screws are sticking through the gasket on the bottom side. That makes it a lot easier to line up. I'm going to get my light here. To put the screws in here. All these surfaces were cleaned up. Another thing I did do is I put gas inside here. I dumped out the old gas. It was stinky. I put regular gas back in here again. I shook it around like three or four times and got rid of that gas. So there's no longer bad gas inside this tank. And it was not rusted, so we're good. That's the main thing. Not rusted. All right. Let's go. We got one more screw. I'll show you where that goes here. So now what we need to do is to go ahead and set the carburetor in there. And as you look, it kind of locked into its spot because those screws are sticking through. It hit those little holes that's in here. Those little holes that's right there. It kind of fell right into it perfectly. So there we go. We're in the spot. So now what I do is I just go in about three or four turns each one. And we are bottom out there. See, I just keep going around until I get them tight. This one here, like I said, this is going to be coming back off again. There's a bracket that goes here. I'm not worried about that. I just started it there so I know the screw hole lined up. So now what we need to do is go ahead and um, let's tighten these down. These I do tighten down just a little bit more. I'll probably take maybe a true half a turn and I'll go across from it. So there you go. Remember, these are small engines. They're not big engines that you use for cars. So you don't need them. You see I'm rechecking everything. Everything's the same. You can tell when they're tight the right way. Um, these are small engines. They're not made to be wrenched on. They're delicate. Next thing I do have to do, this here goes through that little hole right there. And there it goes there. And what it happened is, is this moves like this. This is your governor. There's a spring that connects to this. And this actually connects to... And get my light. It actually connects to this piece right there. In, in here. But I'm not going to connect that up yet because there's a spring right here. Spring connects to here and to part of the motor. So basically we're kind of done with all this right now. I'm not connecting this up yet. You see how that linkage moves everything. So, all right, for now, I'll leave it like that for right now. All right, the main thing I really have to worry about getting right is get this linkage the right way completely. Um, that This one little rod I just showed you right here, that rod will connect to that hole right there. Let me get a light. That small rod will connect to right there. So we got it has to fish through there as you see. So let's go ahead and uh, hopefully you see what I'm doing. It's pretty tight area where I got to work and uh, we'll go from here. We're going to have to fish, flip this on its side and put it in the hole. Okay, and then 
we're pretty close where we need to be. Now, the number one big thing I need to do is put this spring on right here. The springs that go on. What I'm going to have to do is this spring, I'll have to show it to you when it's real, all connected up. The spring has to connect to the bottom down here. Like I showed you and told you a minute ago, it sticks in that little hole. It's even hard for me to see and do it. Never mind, show it on the camera. All right, we're on where I need to be. Going to try to get you in here so you can see it. Don't know if I can get you in there to see good enough. Hold on here. Now you can see a spring how it's going to work. Okay, it actually moves a lot more than that, but for right now, you can see it there moving around. So, for right now, I need to get down here in the very bottom, right back there, there's a bolt that goes in that holds the bottom of this fuel tank to the engine. I need to get that in first, start that bolt. Alright guys, next we're going to worry about this gasket and these bolts, which goes right here. And it looks like it goes on this way. We're going to start one bolt, which is the easiest one you can always start, it's which is the top, always easiest. Get to that bolt first, let me see here, pick it up and jiggle it. I know you guys can't see them, but once I get this started, I will show you. Okay, it's on there, it's done. Everything. All we need to do now is tighten this, these, gas, these two bolts up, one here and one right here, and then the one that goes underneath to hold the gas tank in spot, it's still there. So we'll get all these kind of close. Yeah, like I said before, everything's going to be snugged up just a little bit. If you remember earlier, I told you about a screw I'll have to take back out that one right down there because there's a pipe that goes in. Here's the breather pipe right there. That breather pipe has to connect to that piece way down there. So it's going to run across here, all the way across, and then connect into the side of this carburetor right here, right there. So I'm going to set this in here. Let me get this screw off. And we'll, I'll take you along, we'll show you what we got to do there. Okay, what's going to happen is, here's my little pipe. It has to stick all the way down, has to slide it through, has to stick into that little rubber grommet that's down there. And then this end has to go on here. So before we can tighten everything down, this has to go back on. See how that all slides together real good? And this piece down here slid together really good. And then we have to put... Like I showed you a minute ago, I took this bolt and clamp off. It goes right down right there. As you can see, it went right down there. We flip this around. Okay, so you can see that that pipe went straight down right there in that rubber boot all the way down the bottom. And it come across and it tightened up right here. And then there's that screw and clamp right there that holds that pipe on. So now, all this, this pipe is straightened out. So now what we need to do is work on getting this all snugged up nice and tight. This is tighter. There's no doubt. That is a tighter. We make sure it's tighter. Okay. So, we are solid right now. Engine solid. Now what I need to do is tighten up that gas tank down below. In which you can't even see that. No matter what, I can't see it. i got to use my fingers. So, we're going to go down there and tighten that up. And then we will connect this stuff all up up here. And we'll go from there. Alright guys. Next thing that's got to go on is this throttle linkage. This throttle. This is the idle, fast... Uh, run choke knob This end here Has to slide in that hole right there. Let me get a light so you can see it So that end right here will have to slide in through here And it goes just like that and it rotates in now, but before we do that You remember earlier I told you about the screw has to come back out again this one here Okay, I have to take two out and the reason is I thought it was just one is you've got two holes You've got uh, one hole right here and you get you got one hole right there and you get the other hole here These two holes go to the carburetor So we'll need to go ahead and take these two screws out and we'll go from there Okay, there's a, this piece here This piece right there has to go in this linkage right here in there we're going to rotate around and I'm gonna I'll show you when I get closer so you can kind of see what I'm talking about all right I'm gonna grab you flip you on your side guys my lights even messing up you can see that rod sticking down and I can't even let go nothing that rod is right down right there so it went down in that hole 
this linkage is hooked up here so now what I need to do is get these screws put back in up here so we'll get one set at a time again I always do the easiest first because it's easier to move things around oh you know what I almost forgot something we need a backup guys the ignition wire this wire right here this wire kills the power to the lawnmower whenever you turn the lawnmowers off it's got to go, it, there's an electrical deal, I'll show you that. Let's take this back off again, I'm glad I've seen that. Okay, that's fished out. Now, here's your on and off. Okay, there's your on, there's off. When it goes to off, it hits this trigger. I'm going to move stuff around. This piece here, there's your piece I'm moving around. All right, so when you go to off, it hits this, it grounds this wire. So when it grounds it, it shuts the power off to the ignition. So it does have no, it can't fire. So what we need to do is, this is this tab right here. Here's your tab. We need to fish this wire. There's a little hole in here, little tiny hole. We need to fish that wire all the way through, just like that, so it's touching it. And it's on it right now. So now, we're, we are secure. We're back together again completely. All right, let's get this one screw in. Okay. Once again, I bring them down. They're both kind of snug, and then I go ahead and tighten them down. And these don't have to be that tight. It's like a quarter of a turn. There, that gasket was not crumped right there. So, we are back now to where this thing will start and run. It should. Everything is hooked back up. So you can see, this is the choke rod, and you can see how it's going to move this choke right here. Watch the bow fly. It's all hooked back up again, choke's hooked up. And this, remember I told you about that little rod a second ago, it's right there. That's on the end of this, it went through that linkage. That's all hooked back up again, so it controls that. So we're functioning there. The governor is connected, and it's spring-loaded, you can feel the spring. You can see, when you spring-load it, and it wants you to shut back off again, so that's all working perfect. So basically, the motor is back to where it needs to be. Alright guys, there's something inside here that's not allowing the motor to spin around. It's inside here. I can hear it clunking around. I've never had one of these apart, but it's looking like I can take these four bolts, there's four of these nuts off, and then this part will come off, and I should be able to see the blades and whatever's inside there, I'm hoping. So, I've never done it. I'm going to go ahead and shut this down real quick. I'm going to take those, may take a few minutes to get the bolts out. Once I get them all out, I got to slid this off. That's heavy. Ooh, that thing's heavy. Hopefully I don't flip the engine over. All right. Ugh. Man, that's heavy. Does that come off? Oh, that comes off. All right. Looks like it's got a new cutting blade on it. That's good. Huh? Real dirty and dusty. Oh, <laughs> what the heck? A golf ball. <laughs> You're kidding. Can you see it? It's a golf ball. How the heck did a golf ball get in there? Spark plug is disconnected. That's it. All right. And then, I'm going to turn you sideways. And then, can you see that in there? There's a set of blades in there. Right there. How that works, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure you all can see it. A set of teeth and blades. So, all right, I had my wife help me slip this back together again. And I'm going to just reinstall those four nuts, that one. All right, next we're going to go ahead and put this top cover on. Okay, and all I'm going to do is I'll just, just like the carburetor before, these bolts here are not supposed to be really, really, I mean, you tighten them, but you don't wrench them. You can tell. I mean, I just go till they tight, like right there is tight, and I go just like that, and that's it. All right, guys, I got this all back together again. All right, the first thing you do when you go to put this back on, you want to make sure this electrical wire, your, your uh, spark plug wire, 
it goes over here. That's where it goes. And that's where my little nipple's at right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide this on. There it goes. You've seen it slide on there real easy. That is free. You want to make sure that's free. So once again, I'll start putting my screws on. All right, guys. It's back together. I did change the oil in it. It was just very low. It was not milky. I've got no oil back in it again. I have not started it. Um, this will be the first pull. It's on fast. Maybe it should be on idle. I'm not too sure. Uh, choke is on. Let's see if this thing will start. It tells you to put your foot on the tire.